The next engineering innovation that I want to uncover is the crucial invention that turns steam into movement. It's an invention that was so efficient and so effective that 100 years later, it's still being used in modern power plants. It's a steam turbine. Buck had six of them, and they're huge. Three months in, and they're next on the list for destruction. The team is preparing to cut them apart and recycle them. The turbine casing alone weighs around 10,000 pounds. For the salvage team, that could mean $20,000. What I'm excited about are the huge circular elements revealed inside. They're the turbine blades, and they're really clever pieces of engineering. A turbine works on an ancient principle that by moving one large wheel connected to the other small wheels, you can convert thermal energy into a mechanical energy using moving water or air to turn a wheel. Romans employed the technique to grind corn as early as 70 BC, and windmills were invented over a thousand years ago. Both are ancestors of Buck's huge turbines, which use steam instead of air or water to turn giant fan blades. These fan blades are mounted on a central shaft. The high pressure steam from the boiler is pumped into the turbine casing. As it's forced over the fan blades, the steam spins the blades and drives the shaft. The earliest turbines produced just under eight kilowatts of power, but the genius of that invention was its ability to scale up dramatically. Here at Buck, by a factor of 10,000, those turbines produce 80,000 kilowatts of power each.